the real Bangladeshi today. Bismillah kebab car. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Yes. Abner Namki. Monna. I really appreciate that. Oh, assalamu alaikum. Hello. Good, good. How are you? Yo, assalamu alaikum. What's up, man? Put on Dhaka. Yeah, yeah. And now he's going back and forth. And you are the pan papa, the papa of pan. Yeah, I saw you on my Facebook. Oh, did you? Thank you, brother. Yeah. We got new friends. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Uh, there was a giant fire here a couple months ago. Instagram? Instagram. Wa alaikum assalam. Apna naam ki? Khairiya. Okay. Hey, finally, 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 finally. I have arrived in Puran Dhaka, also known as Old Dhaka. What up everybody? I hope you're feeling good, feeling great. And as you can see, we are coming here at night. Well, it's evening time, but it's gonna get dark very, very soon. We are about to take you on an insane old Dhaka nighttime food tour. I wanted to come here at night first. I'm gonna come back during the day for a different vlog because so many people, so many people told me I gotta come here at night, but they said, don't come alone. So we got this guy right here. Everybody say what up to my friend Hello. Ronnie. Ronnie is my bodyguard. Ronnie is my enforcer for the evening. And uh, we are twinning, but that is not on purpose. We had no idea we were both gonna be rocking the blue. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> so let's not waste another single second. Let's get into it. We're, this is this is at the start of, yeah. of, of Puran Dhaka. Yeah. Okay, and for those that don't know, Puran means old. So this is old Dhaka, and here we go. Huh. We've got all sorts of fruit carts, fruit and vegetable stands lining the streets. What the heck is the? Can you take a ride in that thing? Yeah, sure. But oh. We shouldn't right now. We shouldn't. No, I don't want to, but I'm just curious. That's for the tourists, right? Yeah. Okay. Look at that. They got like this silver and gold. What do you call that? A chariot? Kind of? Karagari. Karagari. Yeah. So these are by far the most narrow streets that we've But I think they're going to get more narrow. Am I yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are more narrow spaces. Yeah. There's, I can't even describe like the aesthetic, this vibe, the, the, the cobwebs, the absolute wiry maze of electric wires we got hanging uh, from all sides of the building over here. And these are all residential spots, eh? Uh, yeah. Wow. Residential and commercial as well. Unreal. Man, the roads are already narrow, but then you got something going on like that. What's in there? How many likes, comments, and reshares for me to take a little swim in there, guys? Yo, assalamu alaikum. What's up, brother? Man, that was that like a, was that the was that the sewer? What's going on here? Is, is this the uh, sewer system? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, it sure ain't, it sure ain't a new water park they're building. Wow, it truly looks like Godzilla came through, <laughs> stomping through old Dhaka. Man, what the heck's going on there? Wait, I think that's the brownie I had a couple nights ago floating through there. Normally I gotta worry about getting run over, but here, gotta worry about gotta worry about falling straight to the center of the earth. That's crazy. Assalamu alaikum. Very similar to, oh, what is, okay. The whole entire area is just under construction. Yeah. This is crazy. Is, is that a new development or is this a place that's kind of like always under construction? And not always, but I think they are doing some renovating stuff. Okay. It, it's probably from the Wasa. The Wasa, what's yeah. that? Uh, they take care about the water in the city. Ah, they take care of the water, okay. We got a mosque right there, right? Yeah. Okay. Wow, this is this is crazy. Whoa, jeez, slip down, slip down, something, dude. This is this is this is wild. This is certainly the most treacherous area we've walked on yet in in, in Dhaka. No wonder people told me to not come at night alone because literally you would you would fall and you'd just be gone forever, or I'd break my break my leg, break my ankle, a sprain, a tear. Like, here, look at this. This is insane. Wow. Wrong time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's ever a good time to walk in an area like that. That's insane. Assalamu alaikum. You look like a movie star, man. You're you're a very handsome guy. Yeah, Does, thank you. Thank you. That that guy looks. You should be in Bollywood or Hollywood, man. Cinema corner. He's, he's, he's got a very like actor looking face. Wow, a very handsome, uh, handsome rickshaw driver. Shout out to that guy. So we we found ourselves like kind of a crossroads here. We can go this way. We can go this way. And these are all political posters, right? Uh, yeah. They're they're not they're not posters of bands. They're not posters of bands that are coming to Dhaka. I'm guessing anytime soon. And uh, the election, is, well, I guess a lot of elections are, are are coming up. Wow. This is this is straight madness out here, everybody. We got a bunch of livestock over here. This guy's selling some fuchka or no, the pani puri. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Take the picture. <laughs> we got a new new friend over here. 
Apna naam ki? Muhammad Ali Rana. Nice to meet you, Muhammad. You said you saw my video yesterday. Yeah. Which which video, man? Uh, I saw your video. Jamuna Future Park. Jamuna Future Park. Yeah, yes, sir. I really Thank appreciate you. you coming to say hi. Bye. Nice to meet you, my friend. Allah Fiz. You take care. All right, we're meeting some fans out in Dhaka. Gotta love it. Very thankful um, that a lot of my videos here have, have gone viral. So it really means a lot to me when people come up to me and they say they enjoyed the video or they just want to take a picture. So lots and lots of love. Assalamu alaikum, guys. And because it's a night video, I got, ah, assalamu alaikum. What's up, guys? And because, hey, assalamu alaikum. What's up, brother? How are you? Oh, hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pop, pop. They're popping out of every corner to say what up. Boom, boom. Let's not waste another single second. Let the chowing down begin. We're at a famous kebab place. This is called Bismillah Kebab Kar. Bismillah Kebab Kar. Yeah. And for those who don't know, what does Bismillah mean? Bismillah means uh, in the name of Allah. In the name of Allah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go see what's going on. Assalamu alaikum, brother. How are you? Oh, my man got. He's got the big cauldron of oil. We got some fresh onions over there. It looks like a few pieces of beef and chicken. And we're going straight in. So I ordered the beef kebab and they're gonna take me on a little beef chop. And they're gonna show me uh, how the how it's made. This is the process. Apanar Nam Ki. Nice to meet you, my friend. I'm guessing this oil is nuclear grade weapons. Oh, and there we go. That's the first piece of beef. Put in. Look at it sizzling in there. Wow. All those little bubbles just dancing. It's a ballet, it's a symphony. Over here we go. Oh wow, and there's another one in there. Well, it's like puffing up. Wow. It looks like he's kind of, are you breading? It almost looks like he's breading it or something. Putting some sort of, uh, well, breading on it or something. Or maybe it's a marinade. Wow, so we've got four big pieces of the beef in there. Now these coming in with number five. Cinco! We've got some like chicken outlining it here. Oh, assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? Oh, you got you got takeaway parcel. Okay. So you can do takeaway and parcel here if you like. Now he's taking out these two uh, big spatulas. He's kind of gently moving. Tomatoes, I'm an idiot. Yeah, this is uh, cucumber, onion, onion, green chili, onion, chilies, and uh, I don't know, some papaya maybe. Papaya, oh, yeah. okay. But here we go. Here is the kebab. This is the beef kebab. Beef kebab. Is there any special beef name chop. for it? This is the chop. Beef chop. And, and in Bangla, we call it goru chop. Goru chop. Goru is beef. Wow. Yeah. And it looks like they put some sort of like seasoning on there. What the heck do we think that seasoning is? Any idea? They took some powder and put it on there. Well, let's not waste another single second. So you can already see like, we got this like oil that has come off on the plate. Clearly it was cooked in that oil, so I think it's gonna be a little bit greasy. Wow, it's like crumbling apart already. In my hand, you can feel like, this, this is the batter though, right? This is the batter. We want that meat that's underneath there. We want, we want all at once. So we're gonna take a little bite of this and we're gonna follow it up. We're gonna chase it with the batter. Pow. Mm. Wow. That's good. Yeah. Mm. Really, really good. I haven't had any kebab like that. Wow. The beef is super tender on the inside, and then you got this crispy breading on the outside. It's very rich, it's very savory, and it's very spicy. There's a nice spice element to it. Maybe I'm detecting a little masala flavor in there as well. You check that out. That beef is like melt in your mouth tender, guys. Like, mm, ah, that is good. When they said, I did not expect this. That is really, really good, man. You gotta have the other piece, bro. Uh, I want to because we have more to eat. To do, more yeah. to eat. Okay, okay. Brownie man, what was the cost of that? Uh, I think it's 150 taka. 150 taka. So about one dollar and fifty cents for a crazy, a very filling amount of beef. Mega delicious and a mega deal. That's what's up, y'all. Ronnie is being incredibly generous and, and won't let me pay for anything despite try, despite my. <laughs> that's that, that's what I've learned in Bangladesh. I try unless I throw the money directly at the people. Everyone's so nice and wants to pay for me, so thank you, brother. Yeah, I really, no really appreciate there's it, man. There's My blue brother, the Blues Brothers out here yeah. in Bangladesh. Bangladesh Blues Brothers in old 
put it on DACA. And thank you, man. That was delicious. Moja, Moja beef. Oh, 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 oh. Anything about that? I, I don't. Hey, Assalamu alaikum. Abner Namki. Dosif. Dosif. I'm burping from that from that beef. Nice to meet you, my man. Nice to meet wow. You. Hey, what's up, guy? Abner Namki. Morna. Morna. No limits. Come on, Acho. Hello, Achi. Apne kama on Achi. Ami balo. Nice to meet you. Alhamdulillah. Nice guys everywhere. Oh yeah, watch watch out for this. Dude, this is like a Super Mario obstacle course out here. Oh, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Abner Namki. Oh, I just met you. Sorry. Yo, what's up, Brent? Facebook, Facebook ID. Facebook ID. It's Brent Tim Travel. Brent Tim Travel. Oh, assalamu alaikum. Are these guys cooking up more chop here? Wow. Oh, and they're frying up the onions in there. What is that? Like some capsicum? Some like yellow, yellow peppers in there? Uh, potato. Oh, potato. Oh, some aloo. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and he's throwing all those green chilies in. That looks insane. Is this the restaurant we're going to? No. No, we're going to a different one. We are going to what I guess is the most famous uh, restaurant in all of old Dhaka, Haji Birani. And we got another another pitfall area over here. Whoa, what's up, man? Oh, ID, okay. Thank you so much. No problem. Oh no, we got a dead pen. Oh no. Oh man. <laughs> We're encountering obstacles. Ink obstacles. Uh, walking obstacles, all sorts of things. Ooh, we got a sweet shop over there. My man Ronnie, we, we got in the night with some sweets, some mishti from over there, y'all. I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lover of these Bangladesh. And here we go, check that out. Since 1939. Asalaamu As Alaikum, what's up guys? Wow, this is Haji Biryani. Uh, oh wow, and here, here's, here's my man. So he's in this giant, like I don't know if that's a copper pot or what do you call it? But he's scooping all the biryani all around in there. And there's these little pieces of mutton. I did a little research before I came, and I guess what makes the haji biryani special is that the mutton is chopped uh, so finely. And, and haji refers to the pilgrimage? Yeah, yeah. What was, what was the pilgrimage? From where to where? Uh, from Saudi Arabia, we Muslims do the pilgrimage. Uh, to Mecca? Yeah, to Mecca. Okay, okay, yeah. I see. I, di I did not know that was called the haji. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're, we're learning a lot today. And then over here, these are these look to be the plates where the biryani goes in? No. Oh, that's the takeaway. Okay, okay. Oops. False info. We'll delete that. Assalamu alaikum. Abanar Namki. Hassan. Nice to meet you, Hassan. Come on, Acho. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. Wow. I mean, we, we are talking the limited seating in here, everybody. Like, look how. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six tables at all? Yeah. How long does the average Bangladeshi take to eat a plate of biryani? Because there must be a long line in this place some days, right? Okay. Wow. Assalamu alaikum. What's up, guys? What's up? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go take a little nice seat here. Oh, and they got the green chilies already waiting for us. Okay. Yeah. No, this is cool. No, this is cool. Okay. So they wanted me. To, they brought me their signature style. So here we've got the haji biryani in this like. Oh, it's like a paper mache type thing. It's like a paper. This is a, a, a dry leaf, I believe. Oh, it's dry leaf. Yeah, some it's kind of dry. Leaf. Not banana leaf though. Is it banana leaf? I don't know. No way. That's awesome. Look at that. That's the next level, guys. That's an actual leaf. Okay, and we've got those juicy pieces of mutton in there. We've got the lime, and then what the heck is that? A little, a little charred piece of. Uh, we call it dark chili. Dark chili. Dark chili. Dark chili. No, I don't want to eat that, right? That's just no, for. No, no, okay. no, we don't need that that's, either. That's just for the seasoning. Yeah. All right. Let's not waste another second. The guy came over to me, handed me the forks and spoons, and I said, "How dare you? We are eating like a real Bangladeshi today." Like a true Bangladeshi going in for those fingers. Let's just get it. Oh, it's so hot. We're gonna get a scoop of that rice first. Wow. Mm. A very good biryani flavor. It's a white rice. I'm not getting blown away by a lot of spices or herbs or anything right away. It's a very like neutral rice. Ooh, what's this? Little, is that a little pumpkin seed? The heck is that? Elach. Elach? Yeah, Elachi. Elachi? What is Elachi? I don't know the English. I forgot actually. Comment below. Let me know what Elachi is. Let's go in for that first bite of the super tender mutton. Pow. That's what's up. Juicy, tender, fatty, great mutton flavor. That really adds, really adds a nice uh, element to the rice. Mm. I also don't think I'm eating with my hands the right way. I think
think I'm supposed to scoop it out and then push it with my thumb? Yeah. Like this? Like this, yeah. Oh no. Rate me below, one to ten. How good are my Bangladeshi uh, hand eating skills, guys? But you know I couldn't do a fork, I had to keep it real. This is so good though. I said it's fatty, but it's pretty lean too. There's not a lot of like marbling on it. Like it's really, really a little more chewy with that piece. This is good. Very simple, very basic, but delicious. You're getting just the tiniest, tiniest spice element. And those green chilies. I forgot to mention the cost of the Haji Kachi Biryani uh, was 220 tacos, just about $2. USD. We're gonna finish this meal off with a little something sweet. This is the Borhani. Can you describe Borhani? Uh, just hiccup, sorry. Can you describe Borhani for us, brother? This is a mixed taste, basically. It's not neither sweet nor they're sour. I think it's a mixed have... taste. Yeah. Okay, and it, and it looks like a dairy product. It kind of looks like. Um, yogurt or something like that. They pulled it out of like the fridge next to me. It's, it's freezing cold. I love that. If you couldn't tell by the sweat, she's bubbling. What's up? <laughs> if you couldn't tell by the... Woo! That smells funky. That smells funky. It kind of smells like salty glossy. How? If you don't like it, you hate it. I like it actually. I kind of like it. It's tangy. It's it's spicy. What the heck? What the heck? It's spicy. It's like spicy, salty, lassi. A little bit of funk in there. A little bit of like a little stank. A little stank on there. And people say, I like it. People say it's, it's good for our uh, digestion. It's good for the digestion. I don't know, we'll see what happens, but I, I think anything like yogurt based and it's probiotics, like it's it's good for you. The Borhani! This was surprisingly good. I already can tell you it's it's not for everybody though. I'm guessing you either love or hate this, like like you said. But I kinda like it. Yeah. It's it's just it's got this just like kind of like nasty flavor to it, but nasty in a good way, you know? I would definitely try it again. It's not an everyday drink, but it's good, and it's oddly refreshing, spicy, herby. Yeah, can't even, can't even describe it, but you gotta try it. And nightfall has totally descended on old Dhaka. Yo, we got we also got this area over here. Like the, the, the margins are so narrow. Oh, assalamu alaikum. Hello, good, good. How are you? Apanar Namki? No, boo. Nice to meet you. But I, I, I literally, I can't, I can't look and talk and film. Otherwise. Like I said, guys, it's gonna have something, something terrible is gonna happen. You're just gone. Where did he go? I don't know. He fell out of sewer. Never to be, never to be seen again. And this is our next stop. Ronnie, sorry, what's the name of what, what are we about to eat here? Bakor Kani. Bakor Kani. Bakor. Bakor Kani. Yeah, Bakor Kani. Can you tell us what that is? Uh, this is a sweet snack. Very, Ooh. very old. I believe it came. Uh, in Bangladesh, uh, 200 years ago. 200 years yeah, ago, wow. Or, or more. A very old sweet snack. Yeah. I'm just gonna peek in and try to see yeah. what this guy's doing here. Oh, assalamu alaikum. Oh my gosh, so this guy has like the, this dough and he's putting it on the side of the tandoor here. Assalamu alaikum. They've got the scale there in the middle and then the tandoor bakes this bread. I, I assume it's like a, a, a sweet bread, right? Yeah. And then they, they stack them up over there and then they put them in here. Wow, this looks really, really interesting. Wow, we're placing our order, hands them to them, and it bags it up, and uh, it comes right to us, okay. Kotu taka? 20 per piece. 20 per piece, okay. So, so less than less than 20 cents yeah. per piece. So we got two of them? Should I help you? Yeah. Oh, no, it's okay. Oh, they're so hot, oh my god. I think, oh yeah, we, we're gonna burn our hands. We gotta wait till these cool down. This might be my most treacherous food review ever. Like a couple steps back and it's just, just game over, guys. Look at that. This is so crazy out here. The water actually looks, it doesn't smell bad. I'm sure if you're watching, you think it's gotta be stinky, but it just smells like normal. I, I was expecting like more of a sewer funk coming off of there, but I guess not. Okay, let's see if these things have cooled down a little bit. Oh, and they, they're breaking off just like that. Oh wow, it's so so flaky. Wow. Okay, I don't know if this one is the um, sweet one or the regular one. Pow. Mm. Wow. Definitely the regular one. Oh man. 
if you need some pani after you eat one of these things, this is really good. It's like a super dry, super flaky, like naan, but like a million times crispier than naan bread. I kind of like it. You would definitely need like chutney or something to go with it, maybe a little butter, but it's like a bunch of warm crackers or a bunch of warm crisps stacked up on each other. That's good, man. We use it tea. The tea. That makes sense. Use it to dip it in tea. Okay. Now I can see how tea would definitely uh, definitely enhance the flavor. Okay, and here's, this one's gotta be the sweet one, right? It should be. Yeah. It's kind of like glistening. Wow. Mm. This one, oh, it was so hard to talk with that in my mouth. This one is a lot more dense, and uh, it's definitely the sweet one, but it's not overly sweet. It's got just a nice little bit of sugar used throughout it. I really like it, actually. Cool. Did you dip the sweet one in tea as well? Yeah. Okay. That was good. That was like a very a very basic, like very dry um, cookie. Um, yeah, I liked it. Hard to compare it to anything. It was kind of like a more dense, more flaky, more dry sugar cookie. I like the sweet one a lot more than I like the dry one. Yo, and they are having a pudding party over here. My man is frying up the fresh puri. Assalamu alaikum. He's doing the rolling, he's doing the frying, and I'm gonna do the eating. You big? So you you think these ones are stuffed with aloo? Uh, I'm not sure. Aloo puri or dal? Yes, yes. Yeah, this is aloo. Okay. We tried the dal puri uh, in a Bailey Road street food video. If y'all remember that, if you haven't, click there and check it out. Oh, he's scooping them right on. They're very fresh. They look very light. Again, those are gonna be inferno scorching nuclear reactor core hot. He's letting all that oil drain off of them before he throws them on the newspaper here that's going to absorb uh, all the oil. Wait, what does that article say? It looks like a good article. Nice to meet you. Come on, Acha. Come on, Acha. Nice to meet you, brother. And you can see he's throwing in these fresh dough slices and they're puffing up almost immediately. But some... It's some, it looks like, is he stuffing all of them? Or he's doing some stuffing. Yeah. Okay. And then frying them up at just a super hot temperature. Okay, he's got the roller. So some are going in without stuffing and some are getting stuffed and going in. So Ronnie tells me I'm just gonna go grab one. And oh, I'm nervous. Oh, oh wow. Look at those bubbles on that thing. Wow. Super, super bubbly. It feels, it feels very hot to him. I'm a little nervous. Very nervous. Especially nervous! We're gonna take just a little, little bite. He's looking at me like, don't burn your mouth, bro. Don't do it, it's not worth it. But I'm hungry! Okay, maybe just a, uh, maybe just a little bite. Oily? Crunchy? It kind of reminds me of like, a Hot Pocket back from the United States. But you can just see the steam radiate once I crack that air pocket now. And uh, it looks like there is the tiniest, teeny tiniest bit of alu potato in there. You, there's no way you can see it, but there's a little piece like, uh, I don't know, a, a something green in there, like a green leaf. Pow. Way too little potato. They put in like the tiniest microscopic bit of potato in here. It's just like eating fried bread. It's just like crunchy paratha almost. Assalamu alaikum, hello, hello. And all these nice guys are watching me be very unimpressed by the bread. Go to taco, how much is this? Uh, yeah, koto -ta. Koto -ta. Uh, five taco. Five taco. Five taco, wow. It, 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 it tastes like it costs five taco. Just, just not good. Real close quarters combat out here, y'all. You got just, the road is already so narrow. And then you've got rickshaws on top of motorcycles, on top of people, on top of just pure, pure chaos. It's a tight squeeze everywhere we're going. And again, another obstacle, another chance at, a, at an injury. We are at the famous D Diamond De Beer. Yo, assalamu alaikum, what's up, man? Oh, we're about to get run over by this guy in the cart here. 
Uh, this is one of the famous. Yeah, the most famous probably. Uh, this is the Lassi shop? Yeah, the Lassi and the Faluda. And what's the name? Uh, Beauty. Beauty? Beauty. No, not, not my name. What's the name of the shop? Yeah, hey! Beauty Lassi. Okay. Bad joke. Very, very bad joke. Assalamu alaikum. What's up, brother? Come on, Acho. Wow. Okay, what do we got going on here? We got the man. He's mixing up what looks to be lemonade. He's mixing up the lassi over there. And then over here, what does this guy got going? Uh, what's what's in there? Kachi, kachi. Kachi, kachi birani. Kachi birani. Assalamu alaikum. Abnar naam ki? Mohammed Tamim. Mohammed, nice to meet you, my friend. Come on, Acho. Balo, balo. Assalamu alaikum. And you can tell it's famous because a lot of people in here. It's it's, it's another vibe. But it's put on. Oh, they've actually it's put on Dhaka. Yeah, yeah. And they've got a nice little out, outfit on here, little exactly. purple shirts. America. America, USA. USA. Oh, no, the big country. The big country. Nice country. Oh, okay, this looks awesome. Wow. And uh, what is that? Is that yogurt or is that the lassi just like? That's yogurt. That's yogurt, okay. Yeah. Oh, he's scooping in just the big, big clumps of the yogurt in there. And this is, how, how is the lassi made here? So he's taking the yogurt, yeah. right? Like a lassi lassi. Yeah. He, he's, he's right now making it. So what, what, is he, how, what, what makes it lassi? Because it's more than yogurt, right? Yeah. What else is he putting in there? I don't see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I'm foolishly assuming that Ronnie knows how everything is made or not. My bad, man. My bad. Oh, secret, secret recipe. That's the that's the absolute syrup, vodka, syrup, right? Syrup. This, this, is a, this is a sugar syrup. Sugar syrup. Okay, so lassi with the sugar syrup, yogurt with the sugar syrup. Wow, he's putting an insane amount of that sugar syrup in. That's like an entire liter bottle of the sugar syrup into the yogurt. There's like more sugar syrup than yogurt in the, in the lassi. That's crazy. That's, that's going to be an yeah, absolute sweet tooth sugar bomb. And then he's taking some water and he's pouring it in the glass. And now he's adding water. Can do we? I hope, hopefully we assume that's brand new purified water. Oh, we're not sure. Do you think that's tap water? We think that's purified water. No, no, no. Nice to meet you. That's cold water for sure. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and what is that? Salt? Gulab jol. Gulab jol. Uh, this is uh, what we call gulab jol. I don't know the English. Gulab jol. Gulab jol. So you just if you translate it in, uh, into English, this is rose water. Rose, rose water. water. Yeah, rose so water. he squeezed some rose water in there, and now he's going back and forth. Back. Listen, listen to that sound. Oh my god, it sounds like a jacuzzi. It sounds like a hot tub. Oh man, this guy's rolling and rolling. Look at those forearm muscles. These guys have been doing this for a long time. We got the straws over there we're gonna drink out of. And it must be famous for their lemonade too, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. The famous Beauty Lassi. They've got ice in it, so I've got to drink it very quick so the ice doesn't melt. That's like so good. That's like the sweetest Lassi I've ever had. That is a... That's the most sweet Lassi I've had. Mega, mega sugary, but it's so, so good. It's not too thick, but it's not watery at all. Like, it's the perfect, perfect balance. If I, if I really wanted to, I could chug this entire lassi in like three sips. It's that good. This is the best lassi I've had so far. Usually I get salty lassi, but sweet, it's such, it's such a treat. This is like a killer dessert, super refreshing. Had a lot of lassi in Pakistan, had a lot of lassis all over the world. This is the best and the sweetest lassi I've ever had. Kotu taka, what was the price? 50 taka. 50 taka, okay, 50 cents, make okay. it make a deal. What the heck is this stuff? Salt. Salt? Oh, so we can, we can no, add? No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, okay, no, no, no. no. No, okay, they're all telling me no, no, no. And here is the famous lemonade. I asked for just a little bit of ice because Roddy assures me the water here is purified, but I'm terrified. I saw I saw Mark Weens and Patu Couple come here and try the lemonade. All right, pow. That's dang good. It's like soda. It's like super sugary Sprite. That's really, really good. It's too sweet to even be called lemonade. That's Sprite. It's 7-Up. That's good. Moja. Moja, Moja lemonade. 
That's that's really tasty. So the the last thing was fifty. How much? Yeah. Go through top. Twenty. Twenty. Okay. So only twenty uh, for for the lemonade. That's a killer lemonade. Super super sweet tooth status. Back out into the streets. I feel like all the spots we've been hitting uh, are on just like one street, uh, pretty much. Maybe 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 Old Dock is a little bit bigger than. That. I assume it's got to be bigger than this. But I guess like all the famous joints are just kind of like on one one street here because as you can see again there is this oh sorry okay, okay. I almost hit that poor guy into the abyss he would have never came back he would have he would have crawled out like a ninja turtle after he got covered in all those chemicals where's our buddy oh man we got the we got the carts coming here this is this is hectic really really glad I didn't come here by myself I would have been very 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 confused <laughs> It's time for the famous pond, the fire pond. Wow. All right, you can't come to old Dhaka, Purna Dhaka, without trying the pond. And it's about to be pondemonium. Assalamu alaikum, man. Apanar Nam Ki? Muhammad Hassan. Nice to meet you, Muhammad. Come on, Acho. Alhamdulillah, and you are the pa uh, uh, Alhamdulillah, and you are the pan papa, the papa of pan. Look at the, look at this collection of sweets and treats and nuts he's got. Like, what are these things? Like, they look like candies. They look like those kind of like mint things. Yeah. There's some Hershey syrup. There's so I, I had pan once in Rawalpindi in Pakistan. I didn't really like it. So I'm very, I've never had fire pan though, so I'm very curious. It looks like they've got maybe like coconut bits, some sort of like nut mixture. What is this, tutti frutti? Okay, do you know, do you know what, okay, nobody, know, nobody knows what anything are. Mystery ingredients. But these look like cherries or gumballs. Okay, man, uh, uh, un pan, don't about. Okay, so he's taking some like fruity gummy things. And he's uh, kicking some of the coconuts. And now he's pouring on, I don't know, pumpkin seeds maybe? And now he's putting on the red jellies. And it's on the betel leaf, right? The ba It's on the betel leaf, right? Very addictive. And now he's pouring, I don't know what the heck that stuff is. Can, can you tell us what's all on there? Can you uh, translate? Now he's putting on the crunchies. And now he's putting on what looks to be honey. That had to be honey. And the chocolate syrup? You're kidding me. Hershey's chocolate syrup. And no almonds. I'm allergic to almonds. No almonds. No, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm probably not allergic to the other 65 things there, but I gotta avoid the almonds. And now he's pouring in. What the heck? That looked like wood wood shavings. And then this yellow stuff? What is? If you're in the comments, you please let me know what the heck is in pan. Oh. And then some sort of syrup. Dude, this guy's got more stuff than like a carpenter or a yeah, painter. I heard, I heard. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Would you mind holding the yeah, camera? Sure, sure. Oh my god. I'm a little nervous. I'm a, so I'm just, I'm going, what do I do? Do I eat the whole thing? Yeah, yeah, eat yeah. The yeah. Whole leaf? yeah. Okay. I'm going to blow my mouth, and I'm going to blow my belly. I kind of like it. I'm getting hot. It's minty. It's fruity. It's sweet. I'm, I'm tasting the chocolate. It's like very hard to chew. Ah! Some of the pieces feel like glass. Mmm. We got... Look at the crowd. That's what I want to eat them. Dumb, dumb. We got a pan party. This is actually not too bad. How's my... Oh man, my tongue looks yellow. I expect it to be red from the betel nut or whatever. Greenish. Greenish? That was actually good. Like, because pan is like an herbal remedy or something, yeah, right? Yeah. It's got like health benefits. I don't know. I don't know if a bunch of like sugar and candy has any health benefit to it, but uh, the betel leaf like makes you a little like uppity, right? It gives you like, nah, the energy. You see a lot of guys buzzing around with a mouthful of red. But it wasn't bad though. You can't even classify pan. You can't describe it. You can't put it in a box. It defies even a rating. You gotta try it. I was freaking out. It was on fire and the guy's like twirling it at my forehead. I'm like, shove it in there. What are you doing? 
Um, I was nervous. I thought he was gonna like singe off my eyebrows or like one of my dangling curls or something, but very nice pond. You are the pond man. That was good. He's got like a billion other like candies and stuff in here. Like, this is a shop like out of a video game. Like, this is like out of a Lord of the Rings movie or something. Oh. Assalamu alaikum. Salam, salam. Okay. Okay. <laughs> salam, salam. Thank you. Thank you guys. Wow. We got a big crowd. They're like very, very confused by the guy yelling and shouting at the pond stand. That was an experience. That was that was exciting. Wow. More excitement out here in Old Dhaka than uh, all ten Fast and the Furious movies. You dig? Thank you, brother. Um, this the, Ron, Ronnie has been such a G for, for like won't let me pay for anything. How much was the pond? Uh, I think it's uh, forty. Forty. Okay. They must have given me the super pond, like the ultra pond. Pondemonium at the pan station y'all i still got a little bit of the things all throughout my mouth under my tongue under my lip in the back of my mouth next destination back down the like craziest smokiest most dangerous street in bangladesh hey, i saw you on my facebook oh did you thank you brother yeah yeah i saw you on facebook we got a facebook fan live yeah, yeah, from old yeah, yeah. dhaka yeah. Nam Ki. Amar Nam Rahmud Jami. nice to meet you brother yeah thank what, you. what video was it what video did you see i i saw your, you you posted on your facebook i saw this thank you man nice meeting you Allah Fiz. thank you brother wow gosh I, I feel just so lucky to uh be approached by people who who recognize me it's a very special also a very strange feeling. I never imagined that uh, people would be like pulling up to like come say hi and stuff. So that means means the world to me. You know, thank you. That's all I can really say is thank you. And we're we're gonna get Ronnie's story in right a bit. Ronnie, you are a wedding photographer. Yeah. He showed me some of his work. He's very skilled. How can people work with you? How can they see your work? How can they hire you as a wedding photographer uh, here in I have a Dhaka? Facebook page and I'm doing uh, photography since 2009 and my company is called Bridal Canvas. Bridal Canvas, yeah. okay. So they can type that into Facebook and your name will pop up? Yeah. Bridal Canvas, everybody. So uh, my man tells me we gotta go to Hanif Biryani. Assalamu alaikum. What's up, guys? And we're gonna, this is the Redemption Biryani. Whoa, it already looks nice. It already looks very, very tasty. It kind of looks very similar, right? Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Kotu uh, Taka, one? Kotu Taka. Half one forty. Half half one forty. Half. We'll do a half order, please, because we already had the first biryani. Half, please. Oh, and they've got their like own labeled uh, takeaway containers here. This is this is legit. Assalamu alaikum. And this place is booming too. Not a lot of seats. We might be in the. We might be trying the biryani. Standing up here, this is the biryani battle. Which one's better, Hanif or Kaji? Assalamu alaikum. What's up, guys? How's the biryani? Very nice. Come on, Nacho. Amivalo. Nice to meet you, my friend. I love this. What? Yeah. Uh, he, he wants you to share from him. Oh, thank you. That's very generous of you. Thank you, sir. I'm going to order my own, but thank you for the hospitality. Thank you. Don't know about Don't know about I really appreciate him wanting to share, but we're gonna. Oh, this is your son? Nice son. Hi, son. Oh, I think it's a shy son. Abner Namki? Abner Namki? Okay, we don't want to harass him. I, I know that feeling, like, growing up, like, your parents always want to embarrass you, but that's cool. I think we have to sit here. We have to sit here, that's fine. We got new friends. Assalamu alaikum. Abner Namki? Oh, hello. We got a new friend coming to sit. What's up, buddy? A little selfie time? Hey! Hey! Nice to meet you, brother. This guy is, this guy is happy. A little, little leg shaking next to me. Okay, thank you. Four quick selfies. Gotta hit all the good angles. You gotta see every bead of sweat on my face. And here we go, the Hanif biryani. I can already tell that there's way more mutton. Is this beef or mutton? Mutton. I can already tell there's way more mutton in here. Uh, then in the Haji Birani, where we went first. Hanif, Hanif Birani. What's better, Haji Birani or Hanif? Hanif, Hanif. Hanif is better, okay, okay. We're, we're hearing it straight from the locals. They're telling me Hanif is, is, is better. Or they're just confused and they think I'm trying to say what the name of the restaurant is. Either way, okay, here we go. Let's see how hot this is. Oh yeah, it's hot. But again, we're doing the same. 
Take it a big handful. Let me adjust a little bit. Pow! You gotta watch out for those bones again. It's a very similar pirani. Like, they're so, they're so, they're, they're the same. Like, maybe the mutton is a little fattier here. I, I've been spoiled, y'all. I've had a lot of good biryanis all over the world, and this is it's just very plain biryani in, in, in Old Dock. It's just rice. This one has a little bit more spice, though, than uh, than the kaji biryani. But it's it's just it's missing those herbs. It's missing the flavors. It's missing the crispy onions. But you know, because older Dhaka is old. I assume that the flavor profile here is a little bit older as well, a little more simplistic, so I totally understand that. This right here, this is like working man's biryani. It's gonna fill you up, it's gonna keep you strong throughout the day, but it's not necessarily the most delicious or best biryani I've ever had. Well, we can't end the night, we can't end the vlog without having a little bit of cha. So uh, we're actually gonna head out of Old Dock right now. We're gonna hop on a rickshaw and uh, well, when I catch up to my friend, he's going to tell us uh, where we're going, but I guess it's a hip happening place where a lot of people uh, head out. Assalamu alaikum. alaikum. We got some cool kids walking by in the tupees. Assalamu alaikum. Oh. Yeah, were, were the, are those kids coming from school? Uh, from a prayer? madrasa. We call it a madrasa. What's a madrasa? Uh, it's a Islamic version of a school. Ah, okay. They were dressed like, well, in uniform. Assalamu alaikum. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice looking kids. They got the tupees on. All right, the old Dhaka escape begins back on the rickety rickshaw. Let's uh, head on out of here. And where are we going next, brother? Uh, TSC. TFC? TSC. 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 What does that stand for? Teacher Student Center. Te Teacher Student Center. Center. Yes. Man, that guy just let out the sneeze to end all sneezes. <laughs> Maybe that's what destroyed the road. That guy sneezed. That thing was a. Uh, Mega megaton atom bomb of a sneeze, y'all. We're out here rolling. Uh, so, so this is incredible and also very sad. But this is Bonga Bazaar, and uh, there was a giant fire here a couple months ago that destroyed everything. So, as you can see, oh, you can't see it now. But as you can see now, uh, everything is like bamboo kind of stalls. And how much was the damage? Like, how much was lost? Hundreds of millions. Hundreds of millions yeah. of, of dollars in damages. So they've tried to rebuild as, as best as they can. Did it used to, was it like vertical? No, you, it was like that. And this, this is the biggest wholesale market, uh, wholesale uh, garment market. In the biggest wholesale market yeah. in Bangladesh. Uh, did, did, did people die in the fire? Uh, probably not. Inshallah, okay. Yeah. Thank, thank God no one died. But uh, still very, very, very hard to hear that. Ah, uh, that much dis destruction. What, do they know what caused the fire? Ah, uh, no. We don't know. Wow. Very sad, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, there you are. Hello. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Everybody say hello to Nabila. Hi. Nabila, we met through TikTok or Instagram? Instagram. And you are a influencer, model, all the above? Uh, yeah. Hello. Hi. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Apna ki? Fariya. Nice to meet you. Apna naam ki? Come on, Acho. 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 Good cha? Ah. Good cha. Your girls are very pretty, very beautiful. So nice to meet you. Is this your school? School? Yeah, college? University? No, no. No. Okay, okay. Nice meeting you. Allah Hafiz. To end the night with some cha. Yeah, it's a, it's a vibe out here. A lot of people hanging around, chilling. What are these guys working with? Oh, get your uh, get your long darts. Whoa! Yeah. Stressful, stressful walk tonight. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, okay. We are back in uh, the cha hunt. Yo, assalamu alaikum. What's up, man? Abner Namki. Uh, Sheikh Rafi. Sheikh Rafi. That's a cool name, man. And, and this is your friend. Uh, senior brother. Senior brother. How are you doing, man? That's a nice watch. Thank you. Very, very cool watch. What are you listening to? What's on the headphones? Uh, uh, I'm listening to Pink Floyd. 
Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd! Yo, the Bangladeshi people love Pink Floyd. I've heard a lot of people repping Pink Floyd. It's time to end the night with some cha, with my new friends. Thank you, Nabila, for, for coming. Ronnie, dude, thank you for all the food today. Like this, this, this guy was, was, was so kind. He was my bodyguard, my guide throughout the old friend Absolutely nothing. Make sure to follow me if you need uh, your wedding photography or anything like that. My name is Brent Tim uh, from Put On Daka, and I'm saying ciao for now.